when you're attending a concert, which will be performing a repertoire with an orchestra and a choir, like Beethoven's Symphony No. 9. Some of us might wonder why there's only one conductor on stage and why another person would go onto the stage at the end of the concert to receive applause. That person who comes only by the end is the choral di director who have been working so hard with the choir before the principal conductor on the podium takes over a few rehearsals before the performance. So as a audience, we might not realize the efforts of all different people behind stage, such as the choral director, without which the director might hardly be able to manage such a big ensemble. So my research is about conceptualizing the modern role of choral and orchestral conductors, defining their relationship, uh, their leadership presence in the orchestra, the choir, and all team members that make a performance together. Firstly, my studies go through all the different tasks the conductor has to do achieving a performance. In the UK professional industry, we have a music director who is a choral director as well, and a principal conductor working closely. They confirm the choice of music for the audience, communicate with the management team to achieve a viable rehearsal plan for the musicians. And to the composer who writes the music, confirming details of the interpretation. Indeed, the conductor might need to have an effective working relationship with their ensemble. However, since an orchestra conductor will be leading the choir during the performance, a natural question would be how the conductor can separate his thoughts into two and to take care of the both instrument and voices. The second part of the question studies the embodiment of the conductor's body leadership including gesture on their hands, body language, eye contact, uh, facial expression, and even breathing. As we agree that choir and the orchestra are two separate instruments, imagine if one has to put the two together, how should the conductor's nonverbal signal be balanced? There's currently very little literature discussing a conductor coaching with the choir and orchestra simultaneously, but many in only one perspective. So my hope with this research is to help professional and non-professional conductors cope with two distinct ensembles in one performance efficiently. Musicians' understanding of how to work effectively with their conductor and the audience better understanding of the leadership uh, and the functions of the conducting profession.